And again, I could right click, choose duplicate. Now when you duplicate a picture, it doesn't immediately show up in your film strip or in this edit mode here. So that can be a little confusing sometimes. But if I hit done, and I go back, that takes me back into the event. There you go, you notice that it's created that duplicate. And all it does is it takes the title of the picture and adds the word, or really adds a space, and then copy to the end of it. So now I have these two pictures, I could highlight the two of them, go into edit mode, and now I could begin to make changes such as effects and adjustments. So if I go in and add an effect to the picture on the right hand side, Let's make this an antique look and let's boost the color, for example. And then we go to the left hand picture and put it in black and white and add a mat. As you click on these across several of these, as you click them, you'll see the number increasing. It's how much of that effect am I applying? I can hit these little arrows to take some of the effect off, or I can hold down the option button. And when I click anywhere, that removes the effect as well. But you'll notice there what that's allowing me to do is just visually to compare these two pictures against each other and which one I like best. So if I made changes to these pictures and I've decided I like this one right here, I don't need this anymore, I don't need this duplicate copy, then I just hit done. That takes me back into the event. And the easiest thing to do is just while you're thinking about it, go ahead and hit delete. And that sends that picture right over into your iPhoto trash. If we go over into trash, there it is.